if you read what Jesus is like, you find out what God is like, and then you find out, is he someone I really want to follow? And I think you probably find that, yes, he is. He's a wonderful person. I grew up in a Christian household. My uh, my parents are both Christians, and they took me to church for as long as I can remember, which is amazing. As a teenager, I, my faith grew very cold. Um, so I was putting up a good front, I was singing all the right songs, saying the right things, but inside, I knew I didn't believe. I knew I was guilty before God, and I and I felt guilty, partly because I was deceiving people around me. I was deceiving God, and and I knew there was sin in my heart, and then went on this camp and heard about the love of God and the, this personal love that Jesus had for me and I couldn't I couldn't ignore it anymore I had to I had to respond and it was amazing to feel loved e- even though God knew all about my sin and all the things I'd done wrong and uh, he knew that and he still loved me and that was that was so wonderful the hymns that I'd, I I knew very well um, the readings that I knew very well. So over time, they became a lot more precious as I realized that these were not just words to be repeated, but they were words of words of life. I think I've been surprised at how full of grace God is. That is the way he always treats us better than we deserve. Uh, I'm an engineer. Um, I work in, in nu- the field of nuclear fusion, which is really fun. And I like being an engineer because I think God is, among many other things, is an engineer. He created the entire universe. And so I like to think that as I'm designing things and investigating how the world works as part of my job, um, I can, I'm sort of learning about God. I'm doing some things in a tiny reflection of how God created the universe. And so that brings a whole new level of meaning to, to the work I do. Uh, To use the words of the Apostle Paul, he he talks about faith, hope, and love. And I think that describes quite a lot of the Christian life. Having faith that, um, first of all, that God exists, uh, that he is, as he describes himself in the Bible, good and kind. Hope is a big part of the Christian life. Um, Although now there's a lot of rottenness in in the world, I look forward to a day when God will make all that right. And love, um, love is something that will last forever. Um, faith will end because we'll see God in with our own eyes. Hope will end because Jesus will return and make things right. But love, love will last forever because we will continue to love God for all eternity. He will continue to love us for all eternity. And I will live in perfect love with all the other people who love Jesus who are there um, with me. I would like to tell past me that God is not just a God of rules, he's a God of love and he wants us to live in relationship with him. I think that's what I was doing for a very long time. I was trying to do God's, follow God's rules without living in relationship with him. Uh, keep exploring, um, have a read of the gospel accounts of Jesus and I guess perhaps focus on what is What is Jesus like? Uh, The person of Jesus revealed in the Gospel. He claims to be God. And if you read what Jesus is like, you find out what God is like. And then you find out, is he someone I really want to follow? And I think you probably find that, yes, he is. He's a wonderful person. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they are comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.